here's what people do when they see someone who's homeless. They might read their sign a little bit and they'll say, okay, this is an intelligent guy and I want to help him. And then they'll go off in their own minds and they'll go and try and do something that they think is right for them. It's sort of a power play in their mind because they want to feel good about doing something, but they take away the power of the person to put their own power over them. And people don't really think about the psychology of this because their attitude is, well, I'm helping you. Well, maybe you're not. For example, yesterday I received a whole bag of food. And it was a little miffed because I don't like to do that. I am not someone who's the distributor of food. That is not my program and that is not the way I play in the day. That is not what I talk about and that is not what I present in any way. So I don't like to be pushed on by black people who probably are listening to my channel, having gotten the information by someone who is illegally getting into my bags, taking that information and giving it out, not on my behalf, on their own. So they could feel empowered, they could feel uh, wealthy in some sort of aspect of information. If they're learning from my channel, if their vocabulary is building from my channel, if they're being entertained by my channel, I'm glad. But what I know about social media today is we don't always get all the numeric data about who is and who isn't watching. What I also know about the federal government is that they don't have to have a ping even register that they're watching things. So let's be clear about that. What I do know about local law enforcement is that they like to interfere with people. And here's the thing that we always learn in any aspect of paganism is that you don't interfere with people because if you interfere with people, God will interfere with you.